Hi guys. Welcome back to Harry Fam Dev channel. A couple months ago, I have made a video to guide you to build a simple Facebook chatbot with Node.js platform. And then, I made another video for setting up that bot from my GitHub page. But a problem is that, until now, Facebook have been changed their document, so our bot isn't working anymore. To fix that problem, I've already updated our project on GitHub, and now, I make this video to show you guys how to set up this bot. Let's get started now. First, to get started, let's create a new Facebook fan page. So, in the home page interface, select pages in the left corner. Facebook will display all the pages, that you have created so far. To create a new page, click on this plus button, then select page. Or on the left sidebar of the screen, choose create new page. This is the interface for us to create a new Facebook page. We will have to complete information, such as the name of the page. And the pages category. I will choose entertainment website. Next, is to write a brief description of this page. Then, click the button create this page. Wait a moment for Facebook to create a page for us. If the new creation is successful, we will have this notification. Then, we will have to update the page's avatar and the cover image. I will choose a random image from my computer. If we skip this step, Facebook won't display our page, although we have successfully created a new one. We'll wait a moment for Facebook to update our photo. And finally, hit the save button. This is our fan page. The next thing we are going to do, is to add the message button. By clicking on this, add a button. We will add a message button, so the user can send messages to our page. A pop-up appears, in this step, we will choose send message. Then, to check that our messenger button is working. We will click on it again, and select test button. I will send a message to this page. To check for new messages. We need to choose the inbox item. This is the Facebook page inbox, you will see the message you just sent to your page. At this page, you can send messages reply here. So we have finished the first step, creating a new Facebook fan page. The next step, is to clone my project, and then open it with the optional editor. I will open the project on WebStorm. A very powerful IDE for JavaScript web programmers. Then for this project, in the readme file, I have also detailed every step to be able to run this chatbot. We have created a Facebook page, so the next job, is to create a new Heroku app. I chose Heroku, because it allows us to deploy apps without cost, and also pre-configured HTTPS for our web URL. Let's go to the Heroku homepage, heroku.com. Since I'm already logged in, it automatically redirects to a dashboard page, the page that manages all of my Heroku apps. We will choose this button, create a new Heroku app. If you don't know how to deploy an app to Heroku, you can also watch my video. Only 3 minutes, to deploy a Node.js application to Heroku. In this step, please note that, it is not allowed to name the app containing the word Facebook, or words related to Facebook, this is the terms to use Facebook applications. After creating the app successfully, the next step is to deploy the code to this application. Open our project again. First, we will log into Heroku. In this step, if you get any errors, please make sure that your computer has installed Heroku CLI. After we use the Heroku login command, press any key, to open up the browser to login, a pop-up appears. We click on the login button. After successfully logged in, we will proceed to push the code to Heroku. Copy this command to change Git remote. We'll need to set Git remote to Heroku, instead of Github, then we'll add files, commit and push the code to Heroku.
while waiting for our application to deploy to Heroku, an indispensable step, is to configure the environment parameters on Heroku. In this interface, we will select the settings item, followed by reveal config variables. Our first parameter is port. Here I will choose 8080. The next parameter, is the Facebook verify token. This is a token for us to verify the Facebook webhook. It is just a random string, so you can set the value as you wish. The last parameter, is the Facebook page access token. We will use this token to send messages to the Facebook users. Until now, we will set the value to empty, we will update this parameter later. We have finished deploying the app to Heroku. To check if our app is working. Click this button, open app. Wait a moment for Heroku to launch the app. Here, my app was not running. To check what error we got, we will use this command, copy the command, then run it in the terminal. Heroku will log all the errors we get. Here, our app failed to start up successfully, the reason, is because Heroku could not find Nodeman, the name of a package we installed in developer dependencies. By default, since Heroku is the product environment, it will not install packages, in the developer environment. I will add this note to the readme file. To fix this, we need to set up the Heroku environment, as developer environment. You can search in my videos, I made a detailed video to deploy an application to Heroku. In the description of the video, I have written down the commands, that we will use. Copy the commands. To be able to deploy the app again, you need to make git detect the changes, then commit a message for changing files. Here you can add a space, or enter a new line. As for me, I have changed the readme file, so git will allow me to push the code back to Heroku. We'll take a moment for the app to be deployed. After we have updated the app, we will reload the web page. If you have successfully deployed the app, the message hello world will appear, because this is the interface file in our project. After deploying the app successfully, the next step, is to create a new application on the Facebook developer. You need to use the same account, that created the Facebook page before, in order to log into this site. Here you select my apps. This is the dashboard screen, showing all the Facebook apps I have created so far. To create a new Facebook app, you can click on this blue plus button. Or can also hover the mouse on the Facebook avatar, then select create app. We will choose the first option to create a Facebook chatbot. You need to name the Facebook app. Once again. According to the policy of Facebook, you will not be named an application, that contains keywords related to Facebook. Select create app. Then complete the security check. After creating the app successfully, we will need to add the messenger product to this app. You click on setup. In this section, First, we will make the connection between this app and our Facebook page. Select Add Facebook App. Then choose the fan page we created. Press Done to finish. Once you have added the Facebook page, click this button to create a Facebook page token. We will copy this token. The token's purpose, is to allow an app to send messages to users, who sent messages to our page. Back to the Heroku app we will update this token. Once you have the token, the next step, is to configure the Facebook webhook. We use the webhook, to send message feedback to our Facebook users. Copy the Heroku app URL, then add the slash webhook. Verify token is the token we choose. Then click verify and save. If the webhook is added successfully, the webhook address will appear in this section. Then, 
we need to choose the events that Facebook will send to the Node.js server. Here, you will choose all of them. Next, we will enable natural language processing for our bot. Select Facebook page. Then enable this toggle. By default, Facebook will mainly support English. If you want to use it for other languages, please stay in the section. This will require additional configuration. Once configured, let's test our bot. We will need to reload the Facebook page to receive updates. Select Edit, then Test button. As you can see, our bot always gives the same answer, the default answer when the bot doesn't know the answer. When the user pressed the like button, the bot responds with the correct answer. This proves that the bot is active, however, the configuration of NLP, natural language processing is not working. To fix this error, we need to modify the code. Open our code. Here, the Facebook message handler, is located in the controller directory. We will need to fix this function. The reason this function is not working, is because Facebook has made changes to this part, so we need to adjust it according to Facebook. You can read documents by searching like me. I made this bot four months ago, then the names of the entities, were different than now. Facebook added the prefix with to each entity. On this document, Facebook also provides step-by-step -step instructions, to be able to use NLP for chatbot. Here, we have NLP enabled, so skip this step. To process the messages, we will need this section. This is an example of how to handle a message. We will copy this function. As you can see, Facebook has renamed the function to first trait, instead of first entity. I will comment the old function again. After that, we'll need to replace all the first entity function, we'll use the first trait function instead. Next, we need to update the names of entities. You will copy the entity name here, and update your code. First, we'll update greetings, then thanks, and finally bye. In this section below, we also use the name of the entity. So we will update that block code as well. We will copy the names here, and overwrite the old names. As you can see, the new names have added with prefix, in the name of each entity. This makes our bot isn't working. Once the update is complete, we will deploy the code to Heraku. Commit the changes, and push the code to Heraku. Git push Heraku master. Here, if you open the view folder, then, homepage.ejs. This is the file, that shows the message, hello word in our app. In this file, I have embedded the Facebook chat plugin. To display this plugin, you will need to update the page ID field here. To get the page ID, reopen the Facebook developer page. You can click here to copy the page ID, then update our code. Because we just edited the code. So we will deploy the code again to Heraku. Commit the changes, and push the code to Heraku. Git push Heraku master. Wait a few minutes for this process to complete. Once it finish, let's reload the Heraku app. Nothing changed. The Facebook chat plugin does not appear. If you inspect this page, 
you will see this error, Facebook chat plugin not display because security policy. To fix this error, first copy the Heroku app URL, then open the Facebook page. Now, if we send a message to the page, our bot is up and running. For example, if I send a message, with the thank you text, the bot will send a response message, saying you're welcome. The bot can also reply if I send a message with the greeting text. And remember, this is a simple bot. It can only respond to messages, that say thank you, say hello, and say goodbye. To display the Facebook chat plugin, we select the page setting, then choose, Advanced Messaging. Scroll to the section, Whitelisted Domain. Paste the Heroku app URL we copied earlier here, and hit the Save button. Then go back to Heroku app. Reload this page. This time, the Facebook chat plugin appeared. In this video, I have shown you how to install this chatbot, as well as display the Facebook chat plugin. If you have any errors, please let me know by comment below this video. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day, and see you guys in the next videos.